I'm back with my panel of experts. We're discussing the question, is there a link between psychiatric drugs and violent behavior? Dr. Joseph, I think a lot of folks are appreciating that there's a black box warning on some of these uh, antidepressant medications, warning about suicide in juveniles, in, in young people. Mm -hmm. So how do they figure that out? And, and uh, why would that not also mean there's a concern they might create violence against others, if they might do violence on their own? That's a great question, Dr. Oz. What I tend to see is under treatment of depression, people not getting the right dose. And yes, the black box warning is there because in some young adults and some teens, they can have increase in suicidal thinking and behavior, but not actual increase in suicide. It is so important to adequately diagnose the right condition. Because if you misdiagnose a condition and you treat with the wrong medications, you can have a terrible outcome. So, is there a, a risk, Drew, that there might be an irrational behavior unmasked, that you might become able to do things otherwise untenable, unimaginable? Well, two things. One is it's not a far leap from suicide reality to homicide reality, right? If life doesn't matter, life doesn't matter. But we don't see that in this group that we're talking about here. We see the suicide reality, we don't see the homicide reality. Doesn't mean it couldn't occur. And what we're discussing here is the inappropriate prescribing. If you take somebody with bipolar depression and you treat them with antidepressant, they can become manic and then they become violent. That's not the antidepressant, that's the doctor.